The next morning, the Rakrak clan's residence became noisy from dawn, all because a giant creature refused to obey, it was Manon who was wreaking havoc after being captured, although Rakrak when he was entered by Sung Woon had enough power to kill Manon on the spot, but Sung Woon did not do so, that makes Rakrak think that the gods must want to keep Manon, even though they don't know what the gods' purpose is. Facing Manon who was tied to an ancient tree, Yur and the black lizard warriors were trying to tame him, hey, your master is dead, why don't you give up and listen to us? However, Manon was a rather stubborn child, he didn't feel threatened by these black lizard men, so he resisted even more violently, not only growling aggressively, but also whipping his tail towards Yur and the warriors. A warrior standing closest to it was swept over by a tail weighing tens of pounds, fortunately he dodged in time but could not keep his balance and fell backwards. When he saw his comrade fall, Yur became even more angry and cursed, damn, Yur was a younger lizard man than Rakrak, but now he was about the same size and as smart as the leader, making him the best warrior after Rakrak and Zael. Yur played with the lizard men who were also capable, and they all worked very well together, the thought of taming Manon came to Yur's mind after seeing Baor control that gluttonous drake, but the appearance of him and his teammates only made the gluttonous Manon feel hungry even more. If it weren't for the vines that were tightly braided around Manon's ankles and held him to the tree, he would have run away for eight generations, and perhaps even used a few lizards as a snack. Yur in his anger shouted loudly, Manon, you, you want to be beaten before you hear the words, but Manon seemed to understand and reacted even more violently when threatened, and at this moment, a rough black hand rested on Yur's shoulder to reassure him. When Manon saw the lizard man who had just appeared, he immediately shrank his head in fear, his eyes were full of worry and even sweaty, and the fierce growls were instantly silenced. The lizard man who was walking in front of him was Rakrak, he walked past the lizard men who had just been knocked away by Manon and took a large potato, when he saw Rakrak, not only Yur and the warriors regained their composure, but also Manon was no longer disturbed. The moment he saw Rakrak and smelled him, Manon immediately remembered the powerful blow he received from Rakrak yesterday, his power had left a pretty deep impression on him, no matter how aggressive he was, he knew that he was not Rakrak's opponent. Manon didn't dare to make a sound, his cautious footsteps began to retreat back naturally, Rakrak took a step back, like a frightened kitten, the tribal warriors watched nervously to see what their leader was going to do to Manon. But at this time, Rakrak didn't look scary at all, he didn't threaten or yell at Manon, but he gave him a big potato, he knew that after being knocked unconscious overnight, he must have been hungry, maybe that's why he became more aggressive. Seeing that Manon was still shrinking his neck from fear, Rakrak said to him in a soft voice, eat it, he stopped and just tried to reach out and bring the potato towards him instead of moving forward might make him even more timid. The Manon is a carnivore, but when there is no meat it can still reluctantly fill its stomach with tree roots, moreover, its stomach is rumbling so loudly that it can't help but drool when something comes to its mouth. Manon finally opened his mouth to bite the potato slowly, it wasn't that he was showing courtesy, but that he was behaving cautiously towards Rakrak, or that size of his body could swallow an entire lizard man in one go. Gradually, Manon's chewing speed increased as he understood that Rakrak had no ill will towards him, and the surrounding warriors opened their eyes in amazement, because they didn't think that food could bribe the ferocious monster so easily. Just because of a potato, Manon let Rakrak touch it, he didn't stop rubbing its head like a pet and it growled in his throat with pleasure, Rakrak said to Manon, do you want more, or that's enough, if you want to eat more, you have to be obedient. Later, more potatoes were brought to Manon, who actually obediently remained silent under Rakrak's supervision, even when the food was laid out in front of him, he did not behave rudely. Rakrak was satisfied to see Manon eat deliciously without any resistance, so that it would gradually become his effective assistant in the future, but he had not yet discovered another purpose hidden in taming it, that is the most important meaning that Sung Woon wants to convey to this group of lizard people by nurturing Manon. Rakrak clicked his tongue and said to Manon who was busy eating, the gods must want something from you to let you live, although I haven't figured out what it is, but if you listen to me, it's fine, we'll keep you. Manon ate the ten lizards ration and licked his lips greedily, 
then looked up at Rakrak with expectant eyes, his tail slamming by by to the ground as if asking for more to eat. Rakrak understood that pampering a gluttonous child would not bring any benefit, so he immediately refused Manon's request, you want to eat more, no, no, if you want to stay with us, you have to learn to be patient, Manon. However, Manon was not angry because of this, he felt that being fed like that was actually enough, but he asked to eat because of his habit of being pampered by Bauer, which was why Manon always took up a large portion of the blue-skinned race. Although he was a little reluctant to get used to it, Manon still obediently lay down, and Rakrak saw that he expressed his willingness to wait for the next meal, and laughed and praised him, yes, very good. Before leaving, Rakrak waved to Yura and the other warriors, if Manon causes trouble again, tell me, don't treat him too harshly, he won't do anything harm you. The warriors breathed a sigh of relief when they heard that, yes, we will report the situation to the leader. As Rakrak left, Yur stared at Manon with curious and amused eyes, and in the mind of this intelligent young lizard came up with a new and much more interesting idea than merely raising this drake. Later, Rakrak is introduced by Zael to two blue-skinned lizards, one of whom is a craftsman capable of making metal blades and spearheads, and the craftsman also carries a small knife to impress Rakrak. Rakrak looked at the sharp knife in his hand with admiration, do you have the kind of skill that can make something like this, in Rakrak's tribe, no one knows how to heat a piece of metal or shape it, so they have had to use stone spears for many years. But the craftsman's answer was even more shocking, yes, I knew how to do it, and if it weren't for that bower stubbornness, better swords would have been made a long time ago. Zael immediately wondered, why is that, what's the problem, the craftsman replied, because the trees, the way to make those new swords, required wood. Rakrak also felt interested in asking more deeply, the tree and the star wood, the craftsman began to explain his method in detail, yes, charcoal is one of the main fuels used to create high temperatures in the forge. Charcoal has the ability to burn for a long time and produce enough temperature to melt the hard metal I want to use to make the sword, this is the temperature needed to forge it easier but Bauer stopped us from burning the tree, when the craftsman spoke of this, Sung Woon, who was watching from above, knew that he was talking about iron. Rakrak found it a little strange, so he asked, if there was a way to increase the heat, then why don't you use it, the craftsman replied, Bauer believes that it is better to protect the environment for the tribe than to have harder metals, and since we were forced to leave the swamp in a hurry, there was not enough time to experiment. Rakrak understood, but thought differently from Bauer, it would be worth experimenting on the condition that they would leave this land, of course, that also had its pros and cons, if they didn't reduce the number of trees here, they could benefit from them if they wanted to return to this land. Sung Woon could have given an indirect instruction to Rakrak but he decided to leave the matter to Rakrak to decide, and Rakrak told the craftsman, I'll think more about this proposal and let you know that tomorrow, the craftsman bows to Rakrak and leaves. Shortly afterwards, another blue-skinned lizard appeared at Zael's arrangement, and the night before, Rakrak and Zael had discussed whether it was possible to find an intelligent guide who could help them through the wilderness, and Zael quickly found the one they needed. The next lizard that Rakrak meets is a blue-skinned lizard with only one hand, because he only has one arm but can still survive in the blue-skinned tribe without being chased away by Bauer, so of course he must possess some useful skill. The lizard man single-handedly asked Rakrak in a confident voice about his abilities, I heard that you need a guide. This one-armed lizard was not a completely different species, for his blue skin patches were still blue, but he had additional green scales, indicating that he was part of another tribe that had wandered to the place of the blue skin tribe, and Rakrak also asked him frankly, you must be a wanderer. The lizard man with one hand smiled kindly and explained, yes, I am a wanderer, I am old and only have one arm left. We have to rely on a group and therefore constantly look for a group that accepts us, which is why we know the way back, speaking of which, the one-armed lizard man has a sour look on his face, as if he is remembering the days of miserable wandering. Rakrak listened to the lizardman's story with one hand and nodded with curiosity, so you can find the way, but where it will lead. The one-handed lizardman continued to explain, if our tribe can't settle down completely somewhere, 
I have places in mind that can help people not starve. But of course, I can't guarantee it, I'm not sure if it's still the same as it used to be now, the lizard man laughed and scratched his head shyly, his rich life experience told him where to get resources, but he couldn't guarantee that the land would last forever. And Rakrak can accept that uncertainty, he asks the one-handed lizard again, there will be other wanderers and tribes who can come there before us, right? The one-handed lizard nodded honestly, yes, I can't control that. Rakrak clicked his tongue and said in a firm voice, if that was the case, it would be fine. As long as you can lead us to that place, we can always make it our own, Zao looked at Rakrak's somewhat smug look and murmured in his heart, I thought you would say that. The one-armed lizard man seemed a little surprised by Rakrak's confidence, if you possess such a strong will, I can count on you, in fact, Rakrak is confident because after yesterday's incarnation, he has strengthened his firm belief that the nameless armor god will always be with him and the tribe. Then, Rakrak suddenly asked the one-handed lizard man, what about you, then can I trust you, I command a large group, so I need to have a basis to believe that you are not just saying nonsense to win a place in our tribe. What are you going to do, to give me faith in you? Rakrak's question surprised Sung Woon because of his intelligence and sharpness, relocating a tribe is not easy, so they need to make sure that their guide is not someone who only knows how to do things. The lizard man stopped for a moment to think and looked up at the sky, Rakrak and Zael couldn't understand why he was suddenly staring at the sky like that. When they were about to open their mouths to ask questions, the one-armed lizard took the initiative to point to the sky, signaling them to look up and follow him. Rakrak and Zael looked up at the same time, but there was nothing in the sky but scattered clouds here and there, and the one-handed lizard continued to speak openly, my answer was up there. Rakrak frowned, he watched the clouds drift patiently for a while until Zael couldn't help but ask curiously, you mean the starry sky? The one-handed lizard man responded with a mischievous smile and kept it open, not only the sky, it was higher than the sky, Rakrak and Zael could only look at each other in a daze, and the one-handed lizard man then offered to see them again in the evening and he would explain everything at that time. That night, when the moon rose and millions of stars shone in the sky, the one-handed lizard continued to tell his story, I am the one who catches the stars. When Rakrak first heard this call, he looked up at the sky curiously without taking his eyes off, the star catcher, the one-handed lizard proudly affirmed, exactly, I was very close to my sister when I was a child, and she knew the location of the stars very well. Rakrak continued to wonder, aren't the stars always moving, the one-handed lizard is eager to explain to him, you don't know, the stars do move, but they are always looking for their right place in the sky. So, stars move but they have their own laws that we can observe, and the more the one-handed lizard talks, the more excited it becomes, as if this is a passion and not just a skill for him to survive. Rakrak can feel the one-handed lizard man full of enthusiasm and he even shows his attachment to the stars, if you know when and where the stars move, you can go everywhere without getting lost, the stars will become your companions. Rakrak nodded with a satisfied smile when he understood the working principle of this new navigation skill, it turned out. However, the lizard man wanted to make sure he had Rarek's trust, so he told him some other interesting things, now I will tell you where the special stars are today and where they will be tomorrow, after that, you can remember that and see if what I say is right or wrong, Rakrak nodded happily again, a good idea. The one-handed lizard man then showed Rakrak some of the brightest stars in the sky and elaborated on how its position would change the next day. After that, he left with a confident smile, so now tomorrow, we're going to check the position of those stars, Rakrak is still watching the stars with interest, I understand. Rakrak's last guest of the day was a lizard who was very familiar with him, Yur, he was the one Rakrak trusted to entrust with many important tasks, after giving Manon dinner, Yur came to Rakrak with an embarrassed smile, the evening wind was pleasant, chief. Rakrak finally took his eyes off the stars and turned to look at Yur, Yur, what's the matter? Manon is making a mess again, Yur grinned and shook his head, ah, no, although he seemed a little dissatisfied about the type of food and the amount of food. But since we were still feeding him on time, he had become much more obedient, 
Yur said while giggling as he remembered Manon's lazy appearance lying in one place. Rakrak thought that Yur had only come to report it, so he raised his head to look at the stars again, oh, really, I'm glad to hear that, at this point Yur hesitated to continue, Zael said we need to find a way to cross the wilderness without starving. Rakrak seemed to remember that he hadn't consulted Yur, and he turned around and asked him, ah, yes, of course I should ask you too, Yur shook his head confusedly, no, leader, I'm a fool. Rakrak laughed at Yur's embarrassed reaction, I don't think so, you're a warrior who doesn't just have muscular strength, we all know that. Yur scratched his head shyly and said the idea that he had been thinking about all day, after all, this thought only came to my mind today after seeing the leader tame that gluttonous demon, just like Bauer had made it his mount. Yur began to speak in an excited voice as if this would be a great invention, I thought, if we can tame a drake, then we might be able to tame other things like the leader did. Rakrak also felt that Yur's idea was really interesting, so he wanted to dig deeper into his thoughts, something else, such as what kind of child could be. Yur looked around and pointed to the beasts in the distance that they had been familiar with for a long time and said, something like, they were. Whether we can tame them, Rakrak immediately looked in the direction of Yur's point, there was a small herd of water buffaloes grazing, the size and size of the herd were not very large, perhaps it was a gift sent to them by the unknown armor god. Seeing the water buffaloes, Rakrak felt the reasonableness of Yur's reasoning even more and understood that the god's arrangement to let Manon stay with them turned out to be so profound, and immediately the system displayed a new notification to Sung Woon, the Rakrak tribe paid attention to the skill of animal husbandry. Sung Woon learns history by playing games, so he doesn't really know how the history of human development is, but in the game of the Forgotten World, it is said that at an appropriate time, human history will be divided into two directions of development, it can be livestock or horticulture, each of which always has its own pros and cons. Cultivation is a stable option for the development of civilization, creating an environment that can prevent attacks from the outside while hoarding food allows the population to continuously grow, of course there are also difficulties, the problem with cultivation is the environment, even in modern times on earth, human will is not enough to prevent droughts and floods, and the less technologically developed a society is, the more susceptible it is to natural disasters, until technology advances further, difficulties will continue to arise in the work of maintaining the flow of rivers to control floods, selection of seedlings for cultivation and every other aspect of agriculture. But that doesn't mean that raising cattle is easy, in the area of Sung Woon, no tribe started raising cattle at this time, there are many cases where they can't know whether the land is dry or fertile until they visit in person, and until they gain enough experience in the surrounding lands, they can only raise small, rudimentary cattle. Therefore, Sung Woon thinks it is best to do what can be done at this time based on the characteristics of the chosen tribe, if he chooses the frogman, raising cattle will not be impossible because this tribe has already started to have the concept of salmon farming. But the player who has chosen the frogman will usually choose to develop crops instead of livestock, because the frogman usually lives near river basins and lakes, in fact, human civilization on earth usually began in the river basin, but Sung Woon chose the lizard man. Lizard men have an advantage in hunting, raising cattle, and even poaching due to their amphibious physique having the potential to develop their muscles. Sung Woon was sure that the average strength of the Rakrak tribe at this time was strong enough for the taming of livestock, poultry, and livestock, although it was unfortunate that they would have to leave the place where the altar was made of bone to live a grazing life elsewhere, but these early altars were discardable because they were only made of bone and would not last long. The next day, Rakrak ordered Yur and the other warriors to bring back as many live water buffaloes as possible, according to Sung Woon's calculations, they would find a herd of buffaloes that he had led nearby, water buffaloes could not be tamed immediately, but the lizard men could still feed them because they were strong enough to pull the buffaloes away by force, if they continue to do so, their breeding skills will be developed, making the buffalo herd more manageable, and finally, they can increase the number of buffaloes they carry on their upcoming journey. Rakrak's complicated plan didn't stop there, he looked down at the group of blue-skinned lizard men who had just been admitted to Rakrak's tribe with excitement, 
this gathering had brought many fruits to the development of the Rakrak tribe. Sung Woon sees the system message that says charcoal and iron sword next to the small forge where the blacksmith is standing, he knows that this technique will give wings to Rakrak's tribe. Metallurgy would promote easier hunting and breeding, and tougher iron weapons would contribute to reducing the difficulty of facing wild beasts, so Rakrak wanted all of the tribe's warriors to be equipped with it. During the day, Rakrak helped the blacksmith build a fire, more precisely, the workmen made a small forge, they made a charcoal kiln and put a lot of firewood on top, after that, they covered the outer surface with mud to prevent the fire from escaping. Once the fire was lit, the holes left for the air circulation that helped the fire to start burning were blocked, and they waited until the firewood was completely burned, Rakrak didn't really understand why he did so, but he decided to trust this skilled craftsman, when he thought that this was the will of the gods, Rakrak knew he had made the right choice, but he also had to admit his ignorance in these matters. And so he was extremely attentive to helping the craftsman to gain more knowledge. And experience, experience for yourself. The craftsman takes the two pieces of wood that have been split in half and places them in front of the fire hole, putting them together in a way that looks like a chong, its role is not much different from that of a chong, and then, the craftsman ties a wooden bar into the middle of the claw-like structure before turning it with the palm of his hand, allowing the wind to easily reach the fire hole, this is a rudimentary fire blower. Of course, creating a high heat furnace wasn't all about the craftsman's skills, he could also forge good weapons, swords and spears were good, but Rakrak chose to craft spears more because it was the preferred weapon of most warriors in his tribe. A few days later, the first iron spears were made, it was rough, but because of its hardness, it was sharper than any spear Rakrak had ever touched. Sung Woo knew that in terms of quality, it seemed a little softer than a well-made spear in the Bronze Age, but there was no reason for him to interfere and ruin this work, the advantage of iron was not only that it was hard compared to the Bronze Age, it is easier to get iron on the ground, and besides, it is easier to work than copper. The right temperature for smelting iron is all that is needed, however, it cannot be done without the necessary knowledge and skills, ironsmithing techniques will actually be more applicable if used to supply agricultural equipment, but the supply of weapons is not so bad. Originally, the leader of the Rakrak tribe held a spear made of rudimentary stone that was fragile and wore away quickly, so the change to iron weapons was already a big step forward. Currently, the achievement achieved after Sung Woon's meticulous plan can be said to be an arrow that hits two birds, but it doesn't stop there, the third bird is hit without him expecting it. Sung Woon was very impressed with this early astronomer, besides iron, he didn't know that there would be an astronomer in the Blue Skin tribe. Later astronomers can help with architectural engineering or mathematics, and Sung Woon hopes Rakrak will use this star catcher well. As night fell, Rakrak met his guide, an early astronomer, and the night sky changed just as the star catcher had said. However, Rakrak thought that one night might just be a coincidence, and the star catcher agreed, the star catcher told him how the stars would move again, and Rakrak remembered that to check again the next day. Of course, Sung Woon knows this is still too primitive to be considered astronomical, but it's a good start, an unexpected outcome that exceeds his expectations, variables whether good or bad always make the game more interesting, and in real life as well. Sung Woon expects that in the future, Rakrak and his tribe will be able to use the astronomer's skills for other tasks, such as creating calendars, which will be a big step forward for their civilization. And so for a few nights Rakrak repeatedly asked the star catcher to tell him how the stars would move again, and after several tests that found it accurate, he had no doubt about this unique skill of his, one of the dilemmas, the tribe's path had a solution that made him feel much more relieved. A few days later, Yur and the other warriors led a herd of water buffaloes back, most of the warriors were exhausted even with the blessing of insects, but the water buffalo they brought back gave up resistance and kept the formation, there were twenty in total, they'll probably celebrate and consume some. However, Contrary to what Sung Woon thought, Rakrak did not do so, after the hunting warriors began to rest, the others made a wooden fence to temporarily lock up the buffaloes, and when they locked them there, 
a guard was deployed to prevent the buffaloes from being slaughtered in secret, Yur is kind and obedient to Rakrak, but there are some lizards who have shown displeasure. Not all lizardmen are wise enough to understand Rakrak's purpose, on the other hand, the new iron weapons have been forged. That night, Rakrak looked up at the sky and seemed to be thinking for a while, he was recalculating the possibilities of leaving this land, everything seemed to be going well as he expected, weapons and food stockpiles were already prepared, now it is only necessary to consider plans to deal with unexpected incidents on the way. After planning clearly in his head, Rakrak breathed a sigh of relief sitting on the top of the hill looking down at the small piece of land that his tribe had been attached to for years, leaving this place would be a difficult decision not only for him but for the entire tribe and the three hundred blue lizards who had just joined. But Rakrak thinks it's time to think about a brighter future, things will be better if they dare to take on challenges instead of stomping on the spot, Sung Woon also thinks that view is true because the courage to accept challenges is the origin of all the success that people achieve in modern society. Then Rakrak walked up to the altar and took a deep breath before shouting, Wake up, warriors, wake up, children of the tribe, Sung Woon watched this scene with interest, there was some great change about to happen. First, Rakrak woke up his close subordinates, then proceeded to wake up the entire tribe with a loud noise, Finally, he put more branches into the fire to make the fire bigger, it was still early, it was not yet time to wake up, lizards often had trouble waking up at the time when the temperature was low so they had to increase the heat smoke began to rise from the fire that had been extinguished throughout the night, and the lizard men quickly gathered in front of the altar. The buffalo hunting warriors who had just returned not long ago had also lined up in front of the altar, looking tired, but also looking nervous in front of Rakrak the wisest and most powerful lizard man of the tribe and also the high priest, especially since they did not know what his intentions were. Standing before the sacred altar, Rakrak said, time has passed so long since the gods led us to this land, we may have made another choice. That choice would be to chase away the larger blue-skin tribe with the help of divine power and continue to live independently, then, we can stay in this land for a long time, and those who are driven away will be able to die in the wilderness, hearing this, the blue-skinned lizards all shudder when they imagine that terrifying future. Rakrak exhaled a strong breath through his nose and continued to speak, but it was wrong, the gods wanted salvation, not removal, it was because it benefited more people. The gods wanted us to forgive, to give us the opportunity to carry and help our old brothers, so that we could shake hands together, create a better life together in the future, Rarek's profound words made everyone amazed, even Sung Woon was surprised. The group of blue-skinned lizards is now completely silent and listens to Rakrak, his statement is valid for the entire two tribes, he is declaring that the purpose of life is not just to survive, but to live by a higher rule and goal. Standing under the altar, Rakrak seemed to be inspired, words overflowing with emotion like a stream, the gods wanted us to give salvation, not to destroy each other because only in this way, could he help more people and create an even stronger and more elite community, when Rakrak finished speaking, the fire beside him suddenly flared up strongly, making the whole space light up. The combination of light effects made everyone feel that Rakrak's words were very reasonable, but they still didn't understand what Rakrak was going to do to wake everyone up before dawn. After a moment of silence, Rakrak suddenly announced, when dawn comes, we will leave here. The whole tribe began to whisper to each other, they knew that they would leave soon after the buffaloes were brought back, but no one thought that it would be the very next day, and Rakrak continued to turn his eyes to the star catcher and said, hey, the star catcher, come here. When the star catcher approached Rakrak, he told everyone that he had shown me the movements of the stars for the past few days, and I confirmed that what he said was true. Therefore, here, in front of everyone, I declare, you are worthy of being a star catcher, a reliable guide, you are not a liar, nor a fraud, a star catcher who is both surprised and delighted to be recognized in front of everyone, thank you for trusting me. When everyone was expecting to see what Rakrak was going to do next, he told the star catcher, so, tell us about the place where he decided to take us, and the star catcher opened his eyes, and I said to myself. Rakrak nodded his head in encouragement with a smile, yes, to everyone here, 
the star catcher then got motivated to explain the journey in front of everyone. He pointed to the east, where the sun was about to rise, and everyone turned their eyes to the direction he had pointed, and the star catcher slowly explained, when dawn came up, the sun would rise over there. We will go to the right side of the sun. Continuously walking for ten days in a row, and after we pass those ten days. There will be small lakes that smell rotten and are so hot that they bubble, but that's not where we're going to stop. Going another fifteen days to the right of the lakes, we will encounter a steep and desolate mountain road. And after three days through that valley, we're going to start to see weeds, and there's vegetation stretching over and over again, and when the star catcher talks about this, Rakrak asks him, even if we go five more days, the vegetation isn't finished, isn't it? The star catcher honestly admitted that I hadn't gone deep into it, there were many wild beasts, and there were tribes of other species living in it, and I couldn't go all the way to the forest alone. Rakrak laughed amused and said, well, this is an ideal place to live, some lizard warriors laughed at this remark, and the star catcher nodded in agreement, yes, that's for sure, so there are many other species living there. Rakrak warmly put his hand on the shoulder of the star catcher to express his appreciation for his efforts, he could go back to his position, thank you, the star catcher, the star catcher bowed politely with a bright smile, nothing. After reinforcing everyone's belief in a bright future that the unknown armor god was trying to direct them to, Rakrak began to climb the altar creating an even more majestic spectacle for what he was about to say next. The black warriors of the tribe all looked up at Rakrak's footsteps, these skeletons were the trophies, the proof of their efforts and the place of their pride, of course, these were also things that showed their sincerity to their patron god over the years. When Rakrak stood on these skeletons with a majestic appearance, the black warriors immediately recalled the heroic days from the time they first built this altar until now it is nearly ten meters high, everyone feels the spirit and will to fight boiling in their hearts. Standing on the altar, Rakrak suddenly called out to Yur, standing in the first position in the line of warriors, Yur was startled to look up when he was suddenly called, yes, leader. Suddenly the atmosphere became tense because Rakrak suddenly asked Yur in a harsh voice as if reproaching, you must still be a little sad because you didn't eat buffalo meat yesterday, right? Yur and the black warriors both looked at each other in a bit of panic, they didn't expect that their leader would feel the dissatisfaction that was growing in their hearts, in fact, Zael had previously asked Rakrak on behalf of these warriors about the reason why he insisted on not sharing a few buffaloes for meat and the two of them had there was a heated debate about this. So now Rakrak wanted to clarify the matter so that the tribal members understood his purpose. Rakrak even stood next to the water buffaloes and guarded himself at one point, although he knew that the hunters were hungry and tired, and he himself had a craving for meat after many days of eating the roots of trees and potatoes, but he could not ruin the great cause because of his momentary desires. Facing Rakrak's sudden questioning, Yur was a little stunned, he was the only one who didn't feel dissatisfied with Rakrak's decision, and even on the way to lead the buffaloes back to the tribe, he was also the one who took the lead in preventing the other warriors from making buffalo meat, so he didn't understand why Rakrak was asking him that question. After being embarrassed for a moment, Yur honestly shared his thoughts with Rakrak and everyone, to be honest, there is a little, we didn't eat a single buffalo while hunting them according to the leader's orders, I think we will eat meat together when we lead the buffaloes back. Rakrak continued to ask in a stern voice, but no one noticed that there was a smile of satisfaction and expectation on his face. Yur hesitated to continue, everyone had to work hard to catch the water buffaloes, but they couldn't eat anything, so, when they heard Yur say this, the eyes of the black warriors all drooped as if they were afraid of being reprimanded by Rakrak the feeling of tension made them not even dare to take a deep breath or look directly at Rakrak. Rakrak nodded with a serious expression and continued to ask Yur, of course I know everyone's mood, but do you know why I gave such an order and why I didn't allow you to eat a single buffalo even though I knew you were all exhausted when you returned, with each of Rakrak's questions, the atmosphere became even hotter, as if there were ten campfires burning around them. Yur was sweating profusely from worry, but he continued to answer Rakrak with all his sincerity, yes, I know, we don't need to eat them when we're not so hungry that we're dying, 
and I feel I'm not so tired that I need to eat buffalo meat right now. They will be valuable food when we go out into the wild, looking at the big picture, they will benefit us a lot later, when Rack Rack heard this, he showed a look of interest, the foundation for development is the result of resisting the small interests of the present to achieve greater benefits in the, the future. The seemingly small and insignificant will is used to persevere and be patient because the future is the cause of great change, and your has done just that. Your continued to say in a decisive voice, later, when we don't have anything to eat along the way, we can eat buffalo meat again, I thought so, Zael and the other warriors were all convinced by Yur's reasoning and that was what Rakrak was expecting. Compared to a person who does not participate in this hunt like Rakrak who speaks thrifty morals or preaches about the value of the buffalo herd in the future, it will not create a sense of authenticity and closeness as someone who has actively participated in the hunt and who also has a strong will, the right candidate to convey these things was Yur and he didn't disappoint Rakrak. Rakrak smiled brightly and praised you in front of everyone, well done, we have to endure now so that we can get more later, don't we, the gods want us to understand that. You couldn't help but be surprised when Rakrak's attitude changed 180 degrees, he looked at Rakrak and the other black warriors in a daze as they watched Rakrak and the other black warriors also let go of their worries, everyone breathed a sigh of relief in their hearts and no longer felt dissatisfied with not being able to eat buffalo meat right now. Rakrak smiled and stretched out his arms generously and encouraged everyone, then we will continue to endure, I and you both want to eat buffalo meat, but if the gods have such expectations for us, we should live up to it. You're, you have restrained your momentary desire, please continue to promote it in the future, you became excited and his eyes lit up with a smile full of pride, yes, as long as I am not starving, I am willing to follow the expectations of the gods. The other warriors nodded at Yur's words, and Rakrak smiled, okay, since you have been patient and respectful of the nameless god of armor, you will be rewarded well, the blacksmith, with those words, the craftsman walked out of the group, carrying a brand new iron spear, yes, I'm here. This iron spear is a sharp, powerful weapon at first glance, the spear body is made of hard wood, the spearhead is made of iron, has a sharp triangle shape, sharp at every angle making it easy to penetrate the target, the surface of the spearhead is shiny, carefully forged to avoid rust and maintain durability, the weight of the spear is moderate, heavy enough to create force when stabbing but still gentle for the warrior to control flexibly, it will be very useful in long-range combat with high damage. This was an event that had been arranged by Rakrak beforehand, after all, it was clear that the best warriors should have the best equipment of the tribe, however, to the other lizards as well as Sung Woon, it seemed that this spear exchange felt dramatic and inspired a more intense struggle as it was considered a special rewards for meritorious people. Under the bright golden light of the flames, Yur walked slowly, calm but dignified, Rakrak standing in a majestic posture, his sharp eyes staring directly at him while the craftsman handed him a new spear, the tip of the spear shining as if reflecting the flickering light of the fire. When Yur accepted the spear, his and Rakrak's eyes met, as if an affirmation of trust and respect, Yur raised the spear high with his hands trembling slightly with emotion, bowed his head in gratitude for Rakrak's attention, and then looked at the shining spear with eyes full of enthusiasm. Not stopping there, Rakrak motioned for the blacksmith to bring out other spears and distribute them to the rest of the tribe's warriors, in addition, the warriors who listened to Yur, who stubbornly resisted the desire to eat what they wanted, you all deserve a new spear. Sung Woon must laugh when he sees that scene, well, did you plan all this, Sung Woon must really respect Rakrak because he is turning an ordinary event into a grand event and making the warriors of the tribe feel that their contributions are not in vain, they all felt deeply proud and touched by this honorary award. Not only that, but the blue-skinned lizards who have just joined Rakrak's tribe also feel admiration for the black warriors, oh, great, I want one too, so try to become a warrior, this will be a good motivation to motivate them to try to contribute to the work of the tribe in the future. The clever Zael quickly saw Rakrak's plan in this matter, I keep wondering what you are going to do, so this is your calculation, she can't help but recognize Rakrak as a skillful leader who knows how to win people's hearts and make people believe in his decisions. Zael thought that Rakrak's surprise event was over, but it wasn't, 
he made another surprise move, he took the skull of a water buffalo at the top of the altar and turned towards everyone who was nervously waiting below. Holding the water buffalo skull in his hand, Rakrak said boldly in a resounding voice, Okay, now, let's step up here one by one, starting from your, and approach the altar. With a rather respectful demeanor, Yur stepped out of the crowd and approached the altar made of buffalo bones once more, while Rakrak continued to say eloquent words full of enthusiasm, henceforth, use this skull when acting like a warrior. The gods will be with me and you, we will be the soldiers who act on behalf of the gods, this is the will of the nameless god of armor, finishing his words, Rakrak immediately put the skull on his face as a mask and also a protector for his head. As Yur walked up to the altar and knelt down, Rakrak instructed him and all the other warriors, our journey in the future, can only succeed if you show the spirit of perseverance and patience that you have shown me before and even now. Rakrak then took the skull of a water buffalo at the top of the altar and placed it on Yur's head solemnly, as if in a medal of honor ceremony, Yur was a little surprised at first and wanted to shrink his neck reflexively but he quickly realized that he was being honored to be the first soldier in the tribe raised his head to receive the skull mask. Afterwards, Rakrak pulled Yur to stand on the altar with the shiny spear in his hand, he proudly bestowed upon him the first and most noble position in the tribe until now, I declare, Yur, from now on you have become the commander of the core army. This was the wish of the gods, Rakrak's declaration created a wave of emotion in the hearts of Yur and all the other members of the tribe, cheers rang out along with excitement spreading like a storm in the crowd but Yur seemed to choke speechless at this moment. Yur, who was in the position of commander of a legion, was moved to tears, he was a young lizard full of will and determination, so Rarik's actions and words of encouragement became a great motivation that made his spirit boil with the desire to fight and dedicate more than ever. Then Rakrak said to Yur, go back to your position and tie it with a rope, the next warrior, come up here, and that's how the twenty-three skeletons were made, the skeletons never thought they would be rewarded with a reward greater than the satisfaction of hunger with buffalo meat, and this solemn award lasted until the campfire was about to die. After all the corps soldiers received their buffalo skulls, at the same time, the sun rose, the lizardman tribe cheered excitedly as the warmth of the dawn enveloped them, the corps soldiers were not the only ones who developed after this event, but the entire tribe was boosted in faith and enthusiasm responsibility to the communities they live with. Yur led twenty-three soldiers to stand under the altar, lined up in two neat rows waiting for new instructions from Rakrak, even though they had just returned from a hard hunt and had not yet had enough rest because they had to wake up before dawn, but all of them no longer feel tired after receiving a dose of mental medicine from Rakrak. Still standing on top of the bone altar, Rakrak spoke in a heroic voice, we are about to leave this blessed hill and the bone altar, however, since the will of the gods is always with us, the location is no longer important. Even this bone altar was just a symbol and not a place where the gods actually dwelt, the gods had existed before, when the fifty veteran members of the Rakrak tribe heard these words, their hearts beat with emotion engraved in their hearts the magnificent image of the bone altar that they had worked so hard to build. Even the blue-skinned lizards who had just been in contact with Rakrak's tribe for a while and had not had much attachment to the bone altar felt that this was a sacred moment that marked a turning point in their lives, and their faith in the unknown crustacean god was further strengthened after this event. Rakrak shouted at the members of the tribe, his voice roared like thunder, everyone, remember that the unknown armor god is always in our minds. The journey ahead is not easy but let's be brave and move forward, just like we have suppressed the desire to eat water buffalo meat, if we continue to persevere on this path, we will receive sweet fruits in the future, Rakrak excitedly waved his hand high majestically, making everyone inspired to follow him that. As the spears gleamed and the arms were raised, the shouts of the 350 lizards seemed to merge into one, moving forward, in the name of the nameless god of armor. Persistently go on, the nameless god of armor will be with us, their actions are repeated many times in the bright dawn, the shouts are echoing more and more, and it even feels as if the ground is shaking because of their shouts. All these interesting sights have caught Sung Woon's sight, there are so many things that surprised him this morning, but that's not all. Ignoring the cheers, 
Rakrak stood on the rest of the bone altar and looked up at the sky, Sung Woon thought Rakrak was just identifying the constellations that were disappearing in the dawn light, but it turned out to be not. Rakrak was muttering something, seemingly a confession, please forgive me, nameless god of armor, please forgive me when I speak my mind in the name of the will of the gods, please forgive me for giving them the title of core soldier in your name. It was only at this moment that Sung Woon realized that Rakrak was talking to him even though he was not sure if the gods heard this confession, it was funny that Rakrak apologized because the one who chose the core soldiers was not the god but Rakrak himself. Of course Sung Woon has nothing to be upset about this, perhaps a player who wants to move and control all his characters will not be very satisfied, but it was Sung Woon who chose Rakrak, who has a high willpower quotient, to be the high priest from the beginning, so these results are very welcome to him. Sung Woon has seen a similar thing happen in the game Forgotten World, but events like this are not the player's intention, since they don't live in that tribe, so they can't grasp the psychology and spirit of the tribe members well, it also means that characters who are completely manipulated by the player will find it difficult to create unexpected and meaningful events like this. Sung Woon was amused by the event that Rakrak created, he clicked his tongue in his heart, thinking back, these guys haven't eaten any protein lately, Sung Woon laughed and finally decided to create a miracle that would surely be welcomed by the hungry lizards. After that, Sung Woon opened your stat board to check, his abilities and experience points had indeed increased, Lizard Man Yur's faith had increased, from 4 to 7, Lizard Man Yur's warrior level had increased, from 2 to 3. Yur wasn't the only one who thrived after this event, Rakrak's initially invisible special ability was revealed, his level had even increased to 2 already. According to Rakrak's stat display system, Lizard Man Rakrak's leadership ability has increased, from 7 to 14, Lizard Man Rakrak's high priest level has increased, from 1 to 2, Lizard Man Rakrak's warrior level has increased, from 2 to 3. Sung Woon smiled with satisfaction and looked down at the panorama of the Rakrak group below packing up and preparing to leave for the new land, he praised Rakrak with a bright smile like a father talking about his son, you have done very well, do not displease me, Rakrak. From now on, you have enough feathers and wings, that morning, before Rakrak's tribe left this familiar land, Sung Woon created a swarm of beetles for them as a gift to give them more motivation and faith in the companionship of the gods in the upcoming journey, thanks to that, the lizard people had a smooth start to the journey. The lizard men of Rakrak passed through the wilderness while eating the roots of trees and bugs that they had accumulated, after ten days a lake with a stench of rot appeared just as the starcatcher said, it was a wasteland, and they could not drink water from the lake, but luckily, they still had water in the jar that Rakrak had put on Manon's back. After another fifteen days of journey, a steep mountain road appeared, low bushes could be seen, and some food was discovered, but still desolate, Manon was so tired after a long journey in terrible heat that her legs could no longer lift. After a few groans, Manon finally collapsed to the ground and panted sluggishly, Rakrak saw this and stopped to check, perhaps Manon was too thirsty and hungry, for many days, no one in the tribe had been able to eat enough because of the limited food reserves. Fortunately, the star catcher said that there was a spring to drink recently, and since they had run out of water reserves, Rakrak asked the star catcher if it would be okay if they rested here for a while, and the star catcher nodded and replied, there was no other way, just rest. Rakrak carefully asked the star catcher, if resting here would have any effect on our journey, the star catcher shook his head and replied, no, we have been going for a long time, it is not far away, I also need to rest for a while, Rakrak nodded thinking about the age of the star catcher and decided to follow him. Then he immediately ordered the warriors to go and fill the jar with water from the stream, and the rest of the lizard men ran around busily to fill their stomachs with food, there were root trees and small, skinny animals nearby, the water buffaloes, now a little accustomed to following the tribe, began to eat the dried plants around them. The soldiers divided the task of fetching water and distributing the food reserves, while the others passed on Rakrak's orders downwards, we will take a break, as there are 350 people in the regiment, so rest can only be done in a small area nearby to avoid losing each other or encountering danger. While everyone was resting, 
Rakrak -rak was worried about the buffaloes, the warriors who were dragging them forward and the buffaloes who were being dragged away were all tired, although the buffaloes who were currently following the tribe were very quiet and did not resist, but it also meant that they were becoming exhausted, he just hopes that both the tribe and the buffaloes will be fed soon. During their journey through the wilderness, the unknown crustacean god did not abandon them, there were a few small miracles that saved them from danger, but the gods could not feed the buffaloes until they were full, Rakrak thought that the god deliberately did not do so, not impossible, he thought that the implication of the gods was that they needed to take care of the buffaloes the way the gods took care of them. Anyway, Rakrak had no choice but to continue on the path they had taken until now, but he couldn't help but worry that things would get more difficult if there were any more delays, Rakrak asked the star catcher again, we have to go on for three more days, the star catcher breathed heavily in tiredness and nodded, perhaps, Rakrak was startled and exclaimed, why did he answer so unconfidently, the star catcher replied honestly, the position of the stars has not changed, but the earth has changed. Hearing this, Rakrak couldn't stop a worried sigh, three days of stargazing, he understood that the starcatcher's words were not wrong, if it was a drought year, the vegetation would not grow, and they would have to go deeper into the mountain trail, while they would have seen the grass sooner if it was the other way around, with the current situation of the tribe, each person can only eat one potato per meal to avoid starving to death, but the buffaloes, if they can't find the weeds around, they can only drink water to hold their breath, if they are not careful, they will die before they reach the forest they want to go to. Rakrak -rak glanced at Manon who was lying on his tongue sticking out like a dog and shared his worries with the star catcher, everyone is already tired, we are also running out of food reserves, even though the gods have helped us a few times along the way, but I'm not sure if everyone can survive to the end. He could only count on the miracle of the gods, I don't know if Sung Woon had heard Rakrak's -rak prayer or not, but at this moment, a warrior's urgent cry rang out, Leader, there is something urgent. A warrior who had returned from fetching water rushed to Rakrak -rak to report that a group of smooth skins was approaching, there were about twenty of them, and they were blue, they were very big, and the smooth skins were the name used by lizardmen for those with smooth skin, species include humans, goblins, orcs, and goblins. All of these creatures had the ability to threaten the lizard men, making everyone feel worried when they heard the news, if the opponents were creatures stronger than them, the problem would be very complicated because the strength of the lizard people was not at its best right now.